I might even say they're great on all characters. Because it allows you to be in two lanes at the same time, basically. As we will see uh, later this game. Because I know I will be doing that. So LeBlanc is going back to uh, to get some more mana now. Which is fine by me. I'm not going to get killed anytime soon. Not by these two guys anyway. So I'm now uh, leveling my W mainly. And I think I should change that to Q and W. Or, yeah, well, one level in E, because I'm not using it for the damage, I'm just using it for the utility of it, so the pop-up. And um, I think I should uh, use more of the levels in Q, because with a smaller cooldown, a shorter cooldown, it becomes a lot better. I'm still not sure, by the way, what they did with the cooldown on the ultimate affecting your passive because it seems that there's a smaller window it's not during the complete cooldown that you cannot get the uh, mana shield it's just during part of the window so as you can see I still have the rocket grab up and I'm going to uh, grab someone here and are we going to get the kill? <laughs> it seems not Oh yeah, we are. <laughs> so the W there saving the kill, or rather getting the kill. And that was really the teamwork I, I intended. So I can take all the damage. As you can see, I still have plenty of life left to... Uh, yeah, to ensure that I get out safely. I mean, 200 life is still quite a lot. It's still two auto attacks. And um, yeah, there there wasn't a lot of risk for me there. So with the mana shield, you can really save a lot of life for uh, to for running away. So I think it's a good tactic to uh, to level the or to get as large a mana shield as you can. I'm just not really good at using it yet. So now with my Boots of Mobility, I'm going to try to gank here. Or assist at least in the lane. Unfortunately, Cartus is moving up a little bit too far. Yeah, and I draw a minion, of course. So but instead of staying in this lane, I'm moving to bottom lane. Because I see they're overextended a little bit. And these people really don't expect me. Because... Normally, you just go back to your own lane. And, of course, I miss another rocket grab. And I hit both of these people. And uh, I'm then able to go back in the bush. And everybody expects me to stay in the bush. But I'm going mid lane. And as I said, with Boots of Mobility, you can pretty much be in two lanes at the same time. Because I'm now already in mid lane. And I'm waiting for uh, Miss Fortune to show herself. And then I go in and I slow her or I uh, grab her. And we should be able to get the skill. And as you can see, I have plenty of life left. I still have my mana shield up. And I can use my W to get to top lane, which was always also in trouble, but I saw that she was still. Uh, add her turret and not behind it, so it's okay. And Trindamir moves ex at exactly the <laughs> right time, so he comes to uh, to get me, but I still have my mana shield, so I'm not afraid of him. And that's what it's all about with Blitzcrank. You need to uh, you need to stay. Uh, safe until you need to or until you can commit and it's already 7 and 0 in the score and that's excellent that means there's not a whole lot that can go wrong 
His Trindamir does uh, quite some damage to the turret. Even the two auto attacks he landed there takes off a significant chunk of the HP. And yeah, the the what's her name LeBlanc should really uh, well try to avoid that that he does any damage to the turret. So we get another easy kill. As long as I land the rocket grabs, the kills seem pretty easy. But the problem is I don't land a lot of them. I yeah, well I I make the rocket grabs uh, I'm trying the rocket grabs that are too hard for me so I should just do the simple ones of people running away from me in a straight line <laughs> but then again if one of them uh, works you get a kill so I'm yeah I'm not sure w whether my positioning is off it probably is or it's just that I'm unlucky because this one was obviously easy And LeBlanc, yeah, well, she does so much damage that uh, the kills are coming in quite easily. So it's now 9 and 0. And this game seems won. But then we, uh, we lose one teammate, which is a shame. So now it's 9 and 1, and they broke the 0. So it was really unfortunate that LeBlanc was a little bit too far away there and she couldn't actually uh, get the damage done. But <laughs> yeah, she does get the kill <laughs> with two easy skills, not even having to jump in or anything. And then uh, this uh, misfortune comes in. I try to distract her. And LeBlanc gets out, which is the only important thing, because I have the mana shield. And unfortunately, they don't follow me enough to uh, to land the rocket grab. That one wasn't meant to hit. It was just in case they followed me, I would be able to grab them. So I get even more mana. More mana means more shield. And more shield is good. I like more shield. So here they do a lot of damage to the turret. It's probably going to fall here. And I should have stayed with the turret here, I think. So I should have stayed in while LeBlanc went home. Although I didn't expect them to do this much damage. Because they don't do a lot of damage to us, but apparently they do do a lot of damage to the turret. So Trindamir getting out, it seems. Yeah, I'm not going to follow them into third range. Just going to clean up these minions. And LeBlanc gets the kill on uh, Trindamir. So that's uh, that's excellent. <laughs> I couldn't get that kill anyway. I could have grabbed him, I guess, but yeah, it's it's better for her just to do that on her own because she can. She has the high mobility with her uh, her flash-like quality. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> she has a skill which flashes her to another location, and then she can flash back to the old location. So I'm grabbing another one who probably forgot that I was in lane. But Lebelon cannot really hit anything here and she hit her ultimate anyway, so she was invulnerable for uh, two seconds I think. And two seconds is long enough to escape in this game. Leblanc again being too far back. 
out of experience range, out of the range where she can actually help me get a kill. And we have three top now without the turrets, which is... Yeah, it's kind of scary. So I'm now only using my uh, ultimates when I'm not in real danger or when I can get a kill. Oh, by the way, the skin you see on uh, on brand is one of my custom skins. So it's not a, a real skin. So I'm trying to save my uh, my mana shield here until we actually have a fight. We did lose two middle turrets and both of the side turrets. 